Hello Pisces, what's going on? I hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do um, a general reading for August, but you know, it's timeless. Uh, all of my readings are timeless. Okay, <laughs> just take that one then, that's the Two of Cups that flew out. All of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Um, you're very welcome here, Pisces. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. I was going to shuffle this other deck, but I think I'm just going to get straight into the tarot. It's calling. <laughs> so yeah, Two of Cups has come straight out. I think that's like one of the most beautiful versions of the Two of Cups ever. I think it's so sweet. It seems like a very, I don't know, it always makes me think of a very spiritual connection. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, kindred spirits. So there's someone coming. There's a very special connection coming in here, whether it's love, if that's what you're looking for, or it could be a best friend or a business partner if you're not looking for love, but it looks to me like it's a very, um, you guys might do energy work or you might actually create something together. It's going to be a very healing connection though. It's like a very equal give and take that you guys have with this person. Wow, you have the tower and the nine of pentacles has just come out really fast. together. Okay, let me see what else. The Knight of Cups. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, this is definitely a love reading. Uh, if you're not looking for love, you've probably tuned into the, the wrong reading here. So yeah, committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So this is someone that's going to make you nervous. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Your cards are really coming out. So you're dealing with someone here, whoever this person is, you're dealing with someone who's been kind of building up the courage to come in and do this. Like when you have the Knight of um, Wands, that's what that talks about. You know, someone that's been gathering up the courage to do something because whoever they are with the Nine of Wands, it's a bit of a wounded warrior energy, like this person's been through quite a lot. Um, okay, tell me about this tower. Whoa, <laughs> did you see the way that came out? The tower with the Empress. Wow. All right, let's see what else is, let me see. There is something here about moving into this Empress energy. That, um, I don't know if it changes things. Yes. So I actually did, it's, it's interesting because I did a daily reading today that basically said the same thing. So for those of you who resonate with being like the feminine energy, there's something here about you moving into the feminine energy that triggers this whole thing, that triggers this person to come in. Um, So you have the, the, the Hermit card and you have the King of Swords here. So this person that you're dealing with, you could be dealing with um, a Virgo, someone that has some strong Virgo in their chart or someone that has strong uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When you have this energy here, I actually want to put this over here. So they want to go in a couple of places here, okay? When you have the Nine of Pentacles with the uh, the Hermit card, you may have been single for a long time. That's about to come to an end and it may be kind of shocking for you. Like if you've been single for a really long time and you're used to just doing your own thing and being by yourself, you're going to have to change a lot to accommodate this person in your life. And that could be both of you because I see the, the Hermit with this person here too. Whose reading did I just do? Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn 
or you could have some Capricorn in your Capricorn in your chart because the King of Swords is very prominent in that reading too. You also have the Ten of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, so this is love and blessings fill your life happily ever after. You have the Ten of Wands underneath that, so this is like sharing the burden with someone. Um, that's not very romantic, but I mean like just always having someone there to be with you, to help you through things, like, you know, to, to talk to about things. Uh, maybe you just feel like you've been by yourself for a really long time. You're like, I don't want to be by myself. I want someone to have dinner with, you know, things like this. But I feel like maybe both of you have been by yourselves for a while. So that could be a bit of a rude awakening. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh my God, I have to actually spend time with someone. I've forgotten how to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this person, yeah, they're showing up as the Nine of Wands with the King of Swords, so they've been through a lot, so they're very cautious. Um, the King of Swords is someone who's very intelligent. Um, they, I said this in the Capricorn reading, but they could have a bit of a military background or a police background. Um, you know, they could do something like engineering or maths. They could be very good at this kind of thing. But it is someone who's very cautious. You know, they like to make lists, especially with this Virgo energy. <clears throat> excuse me, they like to make lists, they like to weigh up the pros and cons, it's not like, oh, you know, I'm going to give in to like wild flights of fancy, it's like, no, I'm going to assess the situation <laughs> from afar. D is this going to go well? Am I going to come out on top? Am I going to get like what, what I want here? Um, but it's because they've been hurt in the past, you know, they're being cautious. They have a lot of integrity, this person, they're very well respected, they have a lot of, you know, they're very principled, very ambitious, very wise. They may be more used to being by themselves, like I said, you know, when you have this Hermit card here, they may be more used to kind of being by themselves. Um, I also want to say maybe they've been like, gathering information about you <laughs> um, or about the situation. They may have been trying to decide what to do through meditation as well. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Five of Pentacles, yeah. I think there's a couple of things going on here, Pisces. Um, in terms of your money, I don't know if you've been thinking about uh, self-employment. There could be something here with self-employment, like maybe it's not been going so well that that's, that's about to take off. Because there's something here about you moving into this Empress energy, male or female. <clears throat> so you might be feeling a lot more creative. Uh, I don't know if you've decided to, yeah, that's where I started talking about it and I got sidetracked, sorry. This Empress energy is moving into an energy of taking care of yourself more you know, getting into the flow of things and trying to, instead of trying to force them. You know, like, you know, say the business is not going so well. It's like, instead of just kind of, you know, carrying on like flogging a dead horse kind of thing with the same routine and trying to force it, it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take two days off, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna have a think about this and, you know, meditate on it and see what ideas come to me. You know, or you, if you do something creative and you've been feeling very blocked, it's like taking the time to step back from it and then suddenly the creative juices flow. You know what I mean? But if you've been struggling with your money, that's about to come to an end, which is nothing to do with this person. That's a separate thing. The Five of Swords has come out here. So I'm going to put that over there and ask about that in a minute. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. Um, you have the Five of Cups has come out. Aww. Aww, okay. So you guys really are kindred spirits. I think you're probably mirroring each other quite heavily. So when you have the Five of Cups, that talks about a lot of sadness from the past. You know, maybe, you know, the, the original Five of Cups, there's somebody looking over here at three cups that have spilled, but then behind them, 
there's the two of cups which is the soulmate energy so you guys may have both been through a lot of crap situations like not just love but in terms of your family or friends or whatever it is just crap situations like I think maybe you guys have both been through a lot but certainly in terms of love as well you know um everything happens for a reason release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness so you know when this person comes into your life you're going to start to understand why things played out in the way that they did and I think it's going to actually help you release a lot of sadness from the past because it's not really going to matter anymore because you're going to feel at home with this person like this is a kindred spirit the energy is very pure and I do feel like you're going to create something together whether that's a home or a child or you know an idea or a business project or something you're going to do something you have, you have three fives here so this person is going to bring a lot of change into your life that's something that you should be prepared for oh you have the knight of cups with the seven of cups <laughs> this is definitely the person from the capricorn meeting so they could be a capricorn like I said, or they could have it, I don't know, maybe you're a Capricorn, you're cross-watching or something. They've been dithering <laughs> about what to do. Like the Seven of Cups is someone that's like, ooh, I don't know if I should do this. Should I? I don't know. Because you're new is the thing. It's a new person, it's a new relationship. And this person's been through, you know, they've had relationships with people that have not turned out to be so great. So with you, it's like, well, you could be awesome, but how do I know? How do I know it's gonna work out until I do something? But, well, the thing is you don't, right? So this person has, um, they've been like, uh, d dithering <laughs> about what to do, but they're gonna come forward with an offer, okay? Right, so let's go into, in fact, clarify this Five of Swords. Yeah, they're going to help you release a lot of attachments from the past that I want to I want to say because look, you have the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords. There's been some dithering going on. <laughs> um, you have the Two of Swords with the Page of Swords, so that indicates some kind of a delay. I want to put that on that on their side. Um, you know, like the Two of Swords can often be like, I I'm just not doing it. I don't know what to do, so I'm not going to do anything, right? Like with the the hermit energy here, it's like I'm just not. I'm just going to stay by myself. Like I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not dealing with that shit. Um, and page of swords again. They could have been spying on you, <laughs> not not in a creepy way, just to you know make sure that you're above board or you're kosher or they haven't misread the situation, something like this. Um, where do we want to put this? I want to put those there. So yeah, definitely this person, maybe they didn't know what they want. I feel like it's maybe less about not knowing what they want, but they just couldn't make a decision about what to do or they've been thinking about a lot of different things. I don't think it's different people. I think they just weren't sure about what to do, but the Ace of Swords, there's going to be like a sudden clarification here. Th that they want to do this like they're going to reach out look how many swords are here though this person is a thinker <laughs> they think about things a lot um there's also gonna be yeah with the five of swords here you know maybe you both had situations with people in the past that were kind of selfish self-involved like you guys were the givers didn't really matter what you did it was never enough maybe both of you used to be people pleasers but there was a lot of attachments that got cut um i just think i don't know maybe you got to a place in your life where you were like oh my god like everyone's an asshole like i just <laughs> can't deal with this anymore but when you're with this person it's not going to matter you just it, being with this person is going to help you let go of all that stuff because you're not going to care you know it's going to be one of those situations where like everything that's happened in the past has led you towards each other it's very sweet um you have the magician here so you guys have manifested each other okay give me some cards for downhill please the 
10 of wands. Okay. So I want to say this is you. The turning point here with the Ten of Wands, you might have a very busy schedule, you know, or you might, um, yeah, I see people pleasing here with the Ten of Wands. Maybe you work too many hours. Sorry, there's an energy of needing to step into this Empress energy, which is putting yourself first, you know. Maybe you've always been in this people pleaser energy of, oh, I can't rest, that's selfish. You know, I have this big list of things to do. I need to do the list of things, you know, which is very much indicative of a blocked sacral chakra, which if you want to know more about that stuff, you should check out my other channel. I have a bunch of stuff over there about chakras that's very helpful and stuff. Um, Cause chakras are very helpful. So there's a, it, it's like once you move into this energy of taking care of your health, taking care of your appearance, making time for yourself to rest, that's when this person's going to come in. So I don't know if you've been, like I said, if you've been working a lot. Um, when you cut back your hours or when you stop trying so hard to please other people or when you cut out a lot of the chores or something like that. Oh, look at that. You're an overthinker too. Oh. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> look, look how many swords there are here. Um, yeah, you're, they overthink, you overthink. So you've been worrying about something with the nine of swords energy. That's an energy of someone that worries, like overthinks, sleepless nights, um, prophesizing the worst based on things that have happened in the past. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So, what have you been worrying about? Are you worrying about this connection? Or are you worrying about money? Or, let's ask. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my hands at the moment, so just bear with me while I try and shuffle. Okay, tell me about this uh, Five of Pentacles energy. I wonder if you're someone that prefers to keep themselves by themselves, um, because in the past, yeah, I, th I think you're someone who <clears throat> maybe you've been by yourself for a long time because you're used to doing things by yourself. You're just used to being by yourself. You Maybe you've been left out in the cold in the past, so you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. I don't need anyone, el anyone else. I'm not letting anyone else in. That's it. Um, tell me about this nine of, what is this? Look, the tower again. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. This will be a very um, sweet connection, like very equal give and take, very balanced. I think you're very used to doing things on your own. So I think Spirit's having you, okay, that's what this is. Look, there's the Emperor. So there's your partner in crime, Emperor, Empress. So they're having you move into this Empress energy currently, you know, particularly for the feminines watching, like maybe you've always had to be in more of a masculine energy, you know, of. Maybe there was never a man around, right? So you had to assume the, the male energy or something like that um, where you were doing everything or you're not used to receiving. That's another empress thing is when you get into this empress energy, it's like being used to receiving, like having someone help you or having someone um, be kind to you 
uh, or working as part of a team, you know what I mean? Instead of being like, no, no, I don't want any of that. Like, I don't want you to have like control over me. I don't want you to have power over me. Uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> Cause this person that's coming in, they're very generous with the six of pentacles here. I think you're dealing with someone though. I think they've had relationships with people that were very selfish in the past, like maybe very ego based, like very, uh, look at me, look at me, you know, cause she's in this card, like trying on dresses and stuff. So maybe they've given their attention to like the wrong people in the past. So yeah, they're having you move into this Empress energy so that you can like learn to receive love basically like, learn to receive someone being kind to you. Yeah, look, <laughs> the four of pentacles. So maybe you have a, a tendency to hold back, you know, and, and be like, no, I don't, I don't need help. I don't work with other people. I don't do that shit. I just do, I do it myself. And that's how I make sure that I don't get hurt. Oh, okay, um, oh, there you are, look, <laughs> the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Yeah, you're, oh, you've really been through a lot, and I think you've had to do quite a bit by yourself. So I think you're basically being prepared to have another person share your life, you know? You have the Seven of Swords here, which is a lot of harsh lessons that you've been through, and look, again, the person is just kind of by themselves like running about with a hoodie and a big old knife <laughs> in the dark. Okay, tell me about this Two of Cups person coming in. Or tell us about this Two of Cups. Okay, tell us about the Knight of Cups. No? Uh, tell us about the Emperor. Oh, the lovers. Oh my God. They're kind of laying it on thick here. <laughs> so, you know, when you have the lovers card, that's like the true love card. Um, that's what they call that card. And yeah, this person's gonna bring you a lot of happiness. That girl also has a little Sagittarius thing on her arm. So it could be a Sagittarius or maybe you have Sag in your chart or something. Um, I wonder if this person comes in a little later on in life or they come in like after a lot of shit has gone down because there is something here about like this person's kind of the silver lining in all the crap that you've been through, you know? Also, they haven't really talked about what they've been through. So that that's a very kind of King of Swords energy. Maybe it takes this person a while to open up or something like that. But um, you're like that too. <laughs> so you're mirroring each other. But yeah, that's the true love card when you have the lovers. Very passionate. Um, it, you know, the, they call it the true love card because it takes a long time for it to come in. But once it's there, it's very stable because it's basically two people that have completely let go of the ego, which is the thing that holds you back. You know, like this stuff that you've been going through, like, I don't need anyone. <laughs> um, you know, because maybe when you've let people in before, or maybe when you've asked for help before, it's just turned into a big cluster fart. So now with the hermit, you just do it by yourself, right? Um, you do have the three of pentacles here. So there is something here about learning to work with this person, uh, like as part of a team, whether that's your actual, you know, you end up working with them or you meet them through work or a community or something like that. There's something about uh, like working as a team with them. If you understand what I mean, that, that could be a big deal for you. If you've been by yourself for a while, anything else you want to tell us about this emperor? You just got a straight up love reading. Usually spirit talks about work or something, but is there anything you want to tell Pisces about work? Cause I'm going to do an extended reading for this. So is there anything you want? Why are you throwing it on the floor? Why? <laughs> you have the devil card. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you work too much. 
look, you have the devil and you have the empress. So there's an energy of, they're trying to get you out of this devil energy with to do with your work. You work too much. I think that's why they're sort of not focusing on work in this reading. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. So you're either working too many hours or you're trying too hard to please others or you're doing other people's chores for them or you're taking on too much responsibility at work. You know, part of the reason that you do that though is there's some sadness there. I'm sorry that this got into a deep reading, <laughs> but I have to say it if the cards, if it's into cards. Um, yeah, there's this energy, they want you to get into this Empress energy, like maybe you've always worried about money. Maybe you've always been by yourself and money has always been a problem. And you've always had to do it by yourself, but there's this energy of moving into the Empress where it's like, you know what? Instead of running around, just, you know, I don't know how to describe it. It's, the survival mode is, it's very much like, I have to keep going, I can't rest, I can't rest. Like I need to have the money coming in all the time. But often the best way to do that is to sit down and logically plan out what you're gonna do from a calm place. And you know, if your root chakra is blocked, that will block the money from coming in, basically. Like if there's fear surrounding it and you believe that the money's not gonna be there, that's, that's a, a really does block the money from coming in because I know I know this because I've been through this myself and I've worked on it myself and I noticed immediately <laughs> that as soon as you start working on like your root chakra, your sacral chakra, the money actually starts flowing in more. So I feel like that's the energy that you're moving out of so you can get into this empress energy of allowing someone to come in and help you because that is the empress energy, you know? Or it like not even help you, but like share a life with someone. Because if you've been single for a really long time, you're probably used to like paying all the bills and like just doing everything all by yourself. But most people are in a relationship, you know, so like the bills are halved or the responsibility for the, the house is halved, you know, so if something goes wrong with the house, you at least, you know, you can talk to someone about it and be like, ah, oh, the heating, oh my God, or whatever it is. Um, my heating is fine, touch wood. <laughs> I'm not jinxing that shit. So yeah, um, basically they're not really talking about your, your work so much here because I think they would like you to put less focus on your work because I feel like maybe with the Five of Cups energy, maybe you work a lot so that you don't have to think about stuff from the past. You know, with the Five of Cups, maybe there's some sadness there that, um, wanted to be worked through and you don't like thinking about it because it makes you sad. So instead of doing that, instead of, because you know when you start to rest, that's when the thoughts come in, right? And you start thinking about things that happened in the past or things that made you sad. You know, maybe you don't like doing that so you just work instead. But I feel like here with the Six of Wands, you're coming out of that now. So maybe you've done a good portion of this you know, you've dealt with a good portion of that stuff that used to make you sad and now you can actually sit with yourself without, you know, worrying or getting upset about the past or whatever it is, you know. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Pisces. Um, and I'm going to go into your extended reading. I do not know if anything is going to come out in the extended reading about your career. It might. I'll pull some advice cards um, from this deck to see if anything wants to come out. But I do think that maybe at the moment they're wanting you to just get into this Empress energy and make space for a person to come in, you know? Yeah, look, the Ace of Cups. Definitely someone new. Justice card. Okay, this person, uh, they're not done talking. So you have the moon here, um, which is, th they've not been, okay. The moon talks about not really seeing things clearly or there's like subconscious fears and anxieties that are kind of 
making this person not want to make a decision about it or not do anything or overanalyze. There's a lot of overanalyzing going on here <laughs> with this person. That's what part of the delay is. But with the, the justice card, that's about seeing something very clearly. Okay, so if you're in this situation with someone, just know that it's all been about divine timing because you've been working through this and they've been working through this. So like they're, they're, you know, when the timing is right, they'll be like, oh, like I see now, or like I'm gonna, you know, go ask this person out or whatever, you know? And you have the nine of cups here. So this person's a wish fulfillment, okay? Someone new who is a wish fulfillment. So yes, I'm gonna do the extended reading now before I babble anymore. So in the extended, we're definitely gonna ask about this new person, okay? We'll get some characteristics about them. We'll get some messages from them. Uh, we'll see if we can not poke around in their past, but just see if there's any information that wants to come out about this person that would tell you who they are. And like I said, we'll pull some advice cards to see if anything comes out about your career. Um, but basically there's an, a message here about not worrying so much about money. Okay, that's the Empress energy. Because when you get into the Empress energy, it's much easier for the universe to give you things. That's probably what the Six of Pentacles is as well. Um, like being able to receive from the universe because you could be manifesting money or you could be manifesting a relationship but if there's fear blocking it it's difficult for it to come in but when you start to relax and get into the receiving mode all the money comes in the job opportunities the people come in it's amazing <laughs> so yeah if you want to watch the extended reading the information for that will be below um either way thank you very much for watching the reading i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe follow me if you feel like doing that i'd appreciate that a lot and as always i wish you many blessings love and light Take care.